in the past you've been unbeatable because you were a raging monster who cared for nothing. Now at long last you have a weakness. Friend. Okay, dude, we gotta talk about this! Hey yo guys, it's finally time for some more movie news and we got a lot of stuff today consisting of a lot of Marvel things but also a bit of Star Wars uh, updates. Yes, I have watched season two of The Bad Batch and I will be giving my spoiler free review a little later on in the video but for now I want to talk about the main point of today's video and that is the new set photos that have been unleashed for Captain America New World Order. So these set photos have come from Twitter and from the direct so thank you very much for these images and thank you Viking 20 and more for these video clips and these images. So the first shot we got is of Tim Blake Nelson as Samuel Stearns, a.k.a. The Leader. And just by looking at his face, the guy has seen better days. But that's not what everyone's talking about. Everyone's talking about the hands and how green they look. I mean, look at that. That is some green Hulk gamma radiation going up his arms. Next up, we have Harrison Ford confirmed to play Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross. Yes! Yes! But that's not the only good news. We also got Liv Tyler back! Oh yeah! This is absolutely amazing because I have wanted Betty back in the MCU for a very long time now. I mean, like, what? It is like, it's not been 10 years, it's like been, hang on, more like 15 years that we have not seen Betty Ross in the MCU. The only appearance that she made was in the movie The Incredible Hulk. And now that Hulk is off doing his own thing, Betty needs to get back into the picture, as well as Ross. And of course, there are the, all the rumors that the Red Hulk is going to be in Captain America 4. Harrison Ford has been confirmed, as you just saw, for Captain America... Uh, New World Order, rather. Sorry, not Civil War. Uh, Captain America 4, <laughs> that's what I'm just going to call it. But, um... There is the possibility that either he's not going to become the Red Hulk or something worse. Because in the next shot, Liv Tyler and some other girl are wearing black and they're at a funeral. Furthermore, Anthony Mackie, aka Sam Wilson, is there he's wearing an army uniform his hands in a sling so there is the possibility if they're going to introduce the red hulk that the red hulk is going to die in this movie or the character of thunderbolt ross if they even decide to do the red hulk but it's actually no surprise because as we all know the thunderbolt ross was played by william hurt and maybe this is Marvel's way of saying goodbye to the character, but at the same time finishing it up nicely, but still honoring William Hurt. So, I mean, it is a possibility that we could, like, get, like, a whole uh, montage in honor of William Hurt and the actor that he was, similar to Black Panther Wakanda Forever, but... It is only a possibility. Another possibility is that perhaps they're attending Steve Rogers' funeral. And I mean, the dude's pretty old right now. So, um, that's pretty much all of the set photos for Captain America 4. On to the review, the spoiler-free review of The Bad Batch Season 2. For me, official Dragon Man rating, 3 out of 10. What? 
I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, it was amazing to see all of these new characters as well as the old faces that we all know and love from the first season. The CGI and the animation was absolutely amazing, but the story had a big, big flaw. Or, I mean, at least a couple of flaws, maybe like one or two, but I mean, it's just, it's just me, I didn't like it. I didn't like it, I'm sorry you guys. But that's not all, we also have one more thing. The future of a specific Marvel character, and that is for Secret Wars, Chris Hemsworth's Thor. Now, I believe it remains just a rumor for now, but I forget how, but someone apparently heard Marvel or something. I have absolutely no idea, but either way, this is none of my own news. So, anyway, Secret Wars Thor. The Marvel, according to this news, rumor, whatever it is, is going to wrap up Thor's story arc once and for all. Now, Chris Hemsworth himself also had a little bit to do with this news. He came out and said that he is not going to be playing Thor forever, mainly because of the bodybuilding. The bodybuilding is very strenuous and uh, the fact that he just has to keep, you know, like bulking up and then muscling down for different roles and then doing it all over again, it is very, very hard on his body. And I bet you that's one of the reasons why he wanted to introduce Fat Thor so he could just like have a break from all this strenacity. And Marvel, according to this news, says that Thor is going to be one of the characters that dies in Secret Wars. No, 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 no. Similar to Iron Man in Avengers Endgame, Marvel has said that they want to wrap up Chris Hemsworth's Thor in a similar fashion. They want to wrap up the story arc of the character of Thor in a very somewhat relieving way. Now, I'm not saying I'm glad that Thor's gonna die. I'm saying I'm glad they're going to give him a very happy ending. Because, let's face it, everyone wants the hug between Loki and Thor. Well, if Thor dies and goes to Valhalla, that is basically what we'll get. We'll get Loki and Thor reuniting in Valhalla, and Thor reuniting with everyone that he's lost. Jane, Odin, Frigga, the Warriors 3, maybe Sif. I gotta say, I would definitely love to see Thor back with the people he loves, the people he cares about, and I gotta admit, I am glad that they are going to wrap up Chris Hemsworth's character in a very good fashion, and not make it, you know, like, sad or forced or, well, I mean, of course, I mean, if he's going to die, it's going to be sad. But it was just what I'm just tr trying to say is they're not going to, like, push Chris Hemsworth away. They're not going to say, like, okay, your character is done. Get out of here. They're, they're going to give Chris Hemsworth what he wants in a way that makes not only him happy, but some of the fans happy-ish. So there you have it. That's the video. So make sure to subscribe to the Dragon Clan family to not miss out on my future videos and giveaways. Make sure to like this video if you are a fan of everything Marvel and Star Wars. And yes, it has been confirmed by a specific actress, I don't believe I can say who, otherwise I'd give spoilers, that Bad Batch Season 3 will come. And... Make sure to share this video with your friends if you want to spread the word of all these leaked photos. And yes, Thor is going to be wrapped up in Secret Wars. So, hey, fortunate news, Secret Wars. That's uh, 2028, so we still got five more years with Thor. So, uh, with that said and done, respectful eye guys out there, peace out.